Hi, I'm Brian Smith, Program Director at Surfacing TV, telling you like it is. And today we will have Peter DC, the X-Rated Man. That's right, X-Rated Man. He wrote the song X-Rated and he did the video X-Rated. So he's going to be here today so that we can find out what the hell is going on in his head. So sit back, relax, and we'll be back in a few moments. Hello, welcome back to Servicing TV telling you like it is. I'm Brian Smith, today's host, and I'm also the program director. And with us today, we have Peter DC, the X-rated man. What's up? Man? How you doing? I'm alright, man. I'm alright. So Peter DC, tell us. Tell us all. X-rated. Why? Why'd you do it? Thanks for having me, Mr. Smith. Thanks, Pete. Why did you do it? Brian. You sound like everybody else. Like I just committed murder. Like I raped a nun, bashed in her skull, and took a knife and cut her a thousand times all over her body. What's up? No, no. Peter, I have an idea on why you did X-Rated, because I understand your music, or at least I would like to know that I understand your music, but for everybody that's out there, please, once again, tell us why you did it. Why X-Rated? Okay. Why not? Should I be afraid to express myself? No, bro. I'm not saying that. It's just that your songs and videos could harm or hurt people. Understand what I'm saying? It can hurt no one. No one. This song and this video, it, the contents that belongs to this song, has been heard and has been viewed for a long time, for a long, long time, Brian. You asked me why I did it? I did it to open everybody's eyes. I mean everybody. The song and the videos, along with several other songs that I'm doing and I have plans on doing, it has a purpose. It has a purpose. You understand? One first is to open up the world's eyes to all the hypocrites liars, murderers, the thieves, all these people that surround the other folks. That's what this song is about. How do you mean? Brian, let us be very honest here. Who are the people bashing my song and videos and ready to call me the devil? Who are they? The churches, the politicians, and the people in power, the schools, concerned parents, your mother, Peter, your mother. The churches. How many times in the last few years has some well-known preacher or priest, pastors, or these folks who are supposed to be ordained by God to minister to people who don't know God, how many of these Jesus lovers and God fearers are doing everything? In my song and more. Being undercover homosexuals, having sex with children on the choir, priests messing with the altar boys. But my song and videos are wrong, Brian? No. They are wrong. They're wrong. 
the governors and president, mayors, etc. Again, they have the power, they have the power to stop gun smuggling and drug trafficking, by. And there's so many other things that's going on in our community that they could stop. They have the power to do it. But instead, they're the ones who's bringing it on. Now they're bringing it on. The president gives his army the right to invade other countries, kill and rape their women. But he's a good president. We have governors in the U.S. who are sexing every other man, man, <laughs> and that's okay. I mean, they're cleaning rifles, they're bowing on the table, they're giving blowjobs to other men. These governors and mayors and people who are on the political frontier. But they have the right to criticize my song. Some of them, they have a woman or a wife only for appearance, just for appearance, especially around election time. They want to see the traditional all-American fellow who has a wife and family but their wife and family is just there, just for their political up. But they're homosexuals in disguise. But this homosexual behavior is cool, and my song is bad. No, Brian, they're bad. The schools and the teachers, Brian, daycare providers, these people who cannot be trusted with your kids. Teachers in the Board of Education teaching lies, promoting condoms in school by examples of two men. Sex in the young boys and the young girls that go to their schools. The public's children. But I should stop. They should stop. You know, Brian, all this stems from many concerned parents, you know, this bashing of my X-rated song, my X-rated video. It comes from, I mean, a lot of the bashing is coming from concerned parents. The fathers, who sex and molest their daughters and the mothers too stupid to see what's going on and hear their children's cry for help. But they can bash my song and tell me that it's bad. I am irresponsible for my song and the contents. I have no right to do this song. And I should be more responsible. And maybe I should be more responsible, B. Maybe I should be. But they should shut their damn mouths. Because they're not responsible. They wouldn't allow half the things that's going on in the home to even come out. So they need to get responsible. Lead me. Let them show me what responsibility is. And I'll fall. You know, this brings me to the second reason I did it. Um, my mama says the truth will set you free. Hmm. If you're true to yourself and who you are, no shame can come to knock you down. You understand what I mean? If I'm a thief, then let it be known that I'm a thief. So if I get caught, I'm proud doing my time because that's what I do. There's no shame because I'm proud. I'm a thief.
if I'm gay, why hide it? If I'm caught doing some homosexual activity, so what? Everybody knows I'm gay. So being caught and being ashamed would not apply to me because I'm out of the closet, so to speak. So there's no shame in my game. Hmm. But if, however, being a known thief or a known homosexual is going to stop me from ministering, stop me from teaching, stop me from politicking, stop me from doing what it is that I want to pursue because thieves and homosexuals cannot do what it is that I'm pursuing, then maybe I should consider to stop. Maybe I shouldn't be a thief and maybe I shouldn't be a homosexual. Maybe I should walk a straight line. That way I can do this thing that I pursue. You understand? That's what it's about. X-rated. X-rated isn't about me. It's not what I should do. X-rated is about the people in the world and what they should do. The people who's ready to tell me stop doing this and stop doing that, X-rated is about them telling them that they need to get their act together, shut the hell up, and show me by example what I am supposed to do. They need to shut up and do what they're supposed to do. That's what X-rated is all about. You know, in the Bible, Jesus says, let the man or they who are sinless cast the first stone. So, for all the public out there who is sinless, for all those who have no skeletons in their closet, no skeletons hiding underneath their bed, for all those who's just simply pure, I'm right here. Let them come at me. I'm right here. But if you are not pure, if you've done some wrong in your life, shut the hell up. Correct yourself. Correct all the stuff that you need to correct. Take a look in the mirror before you come my way. That's what X-Rated is about. Brian, X-Rated is a song, and only a song. A song about what we do every day in life. Brian, X-Rated is a gesture that all we have to do is take a good look at ourselves. Make that correction or that necessary change in our lives that way we can possibly measure up that we can teach this new you to your brother man x-rated is to bring you out of what you might be into and develop a new you and once your new you surfaces then you can teach me a new you so that's what X-Rated is about. Brian, as far as my mother is concerned, you're right. She has a lot to be concerned about because she knows she didn't give birth to no devil. But what mom has to understand, and mom, if you ever see this, what you have to understand is you never know how wet it is unless you've experienced dry. You never know how cold it is unless you've experienced hot. If, I guess what I'm saying, mom, is if I have a booger in my nose, 
before I tell this man or anybody that they have a booger in their nose, I gotta check myself, make sure my booger is, my nose is clean and there ain't no booger in there. Then I could say, hey Brian, you got a booger in your nose. And he's not looking back at me with a bigger one of mine. So, there's different ways that people learn. And sometimes when you approach things directly, people don't get the gist of it. So sometimes you have to take an indirect approach. You have to go at it a different way. And I'm just going at, going at it a different way. If people can't understand where I'm coming from and see the true meaning behind, read between the lines of what Brian has brought me on this show to find out, then they're truly dunce. I love God. I believe in Jesus. And I believe a lot of the things that we do in this life is downright offending to God and hurt ourselves. That's why we have so many diseases out here that we can't get rid of because we do the most craziest things because we're just so impressionable by Satan, of course. But sometimes you need to blow up this sickness in the world for someone to go, wow, you know, I think I do that too. So now that you know that you do this, because I'm blatantly just putting it out there that we do this. Maybe we could take a backtrack in life and start trying to do certain things. That way, I don't have to do a song like this anymore because it truly would be considered wrong. God has different ways, Brian, of ministering. And by no means am I saying that I'm a minister or God has ordained me to teach through sex. Right. But God knows what he's doing. And if he's allowed me to come out with this crazy X-rated video song, an X-rated music video, then maybe it's just meant that it comes out. That way the world can hate me. And in the end, hating me will provide a greater purpose. So, that's really it. Um, I'm not going to stop until everybody else stop. X-rated is just the beginning. That's it. Okay, Peter DC. So I guess you summed it up for all of us. So for all you people out there, check out Peter DC's X-Rated. And today we had a lesson in life that we will not forget anytime soon. So again, Peter DC, thank you for being on the show. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome. Come back again. I will. That's it. Thanks. And I'm Brian Smith. Program Director for Surfacing TV, telling you like it is, till next time. Yeah, so you know, so. Blah, blah, blah.